Good morning. I'm Janie Parrish with the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce, and you are in for a treat to listen to one of our newer businesses who have joined that has joined the chamber. And uh, so we're going to find all about Diamond Storage Solutions with Terry Elliott. So good morning, Terry. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on the call this morning. Oh, boy, I'm excited to learn more. I've been learning more and more about Diamond Storage Solutions, but I'm anxious to talk to you. So uh, go ahead and tell us, what is Diamond Storage Solutions? Yeah, so Diamond Storage uh, Solutions, we really challenge the notion that healthcare providers need to adopt industrial solutions for their storage needs. And... Diamond was founded by my partner, uh, Jennifer Najat Elliott, and the idea came to her um, when she was a business unit leader for a leading uh, storage solutions provider in, the, in the, the healthcare space. And what she found when she was leading that business unit is that there's a lot of unmet needs uh, for healthcare providers. And in general, in the healthcare setting for storage, and when I say storage, I'm really talking about shelving, bins, baskets. Think of items that would be in uh, medical prep areas, in pharmacies, in storerooms, in laboratories to handle things from holding medicines to syringes to you know medical supplies and that sort of thing. So that's the space that we uh, participate in. And so being part of a, a larger sort of national business, there were a lot of needs that she ran across that couldn't be met by the large companies just because of the what we call the hurdle rate to make the investments, to design new products and, and so on. So the healthcare providers go to industrial catalogs and buy things uh, that you see in industrial settings like wire shelving and plastic bins and, and those sort of articles. So out of that, um, you know, we came up with the premise that uh, there's an opportunity, not to take over the market, but there's an opportunity to step in and meet these un unmet needs in, in the marketplace. So that's how Diamond was started. Boy, what a great story. Yeah, it, it's amazing. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. And so uh, in comparison to others that create um, storage units or uh, containers or whatever, I'm not sure what you would call them. And um, but in comparison, what's unique about Diamond Storage Solutions? Yeah, that that's a great question. So we start from the outside in. So okay. when we began the business, we spent about 18 months entering into uh, product development, innovation partnerships with healthcare facilities, where we would go into the, you know, the hospital or the clinic or the, the lab, and we would talk to the end users. And we would just observe them and, and ask them questions about uh, the products that they're using and, and things like, so if you could ask for anything that you don't have today, what might that look like? So we started getting those types of ideas. So Jen had an idea of what those needs were, but we wanted to go back out, collect our own data and validate um, sort of our hypothesis of what the need was or the unmet need was in the marketplace. So it was really, um, you know, through that, that work of talking to these people that we came up with some specific ideas around uh, products you know, with a, a shelving unit that uh, address some of the pain, the, the pain points in healthcare, for example, dust and cleanliness is really important. So they're using a lot of plastic bins and totes that collect static that are hard to clean, that have a lot of surfaces. So our solution is to make a bin out of steel that's powder coated that's perforated, that you can see through it, you can see the product, it's easy to clean, it has no sharp edges on it, and, and um, you know, it just makes their life easier because they have to clean 
storage uh, products, you know, rigorously once a month in some clean rooms, it's every day they have to wipe, wipe things down. Uh, another example would be in clinics, a lot of time they collect biohazardous waste in a cardboard box with a poly bag liner uh, that they put everything in. Once the box is full, they seal it all up and take the box. And then a company comes and collects the box and takes the waste away and leaves them with new boxes. Well, how do you move that box around the clinic uh, easily, uh, you know, from patient to patient? And where we designed one particular product, it was in um, uh, a lab where they do IV treatments and so on in that type of setting. So we uh, asked them what they, uh, you know, what their pain points were. And he said, if you could come up with a dolly that this box fit in that had wheels in and a lid that went on top of the box so that the patients don't see the waste product. So it's not exposed to our staff and so on. You know, I would buy that product. So we went about designing a, a metal dolly with a slow closed lid that's red for biohazardous waste that the box precisely fits into. It's got a handle on the top. Now the nurses in the lab can pull this, uh, the box around on a dolly and, and uh, with a lid, they can open it up. They put the IV products in there, close the lid. It's got a soft close feature so it doesn't slam shut. And then they can take it back to the storeroom. Well, he outfitted every one of their infusion clinics. In this case, it was across Canada with the product. So, you know, that gives you a bit of an, an idea of what makes us unique. So some of our products like the perforated bins aren't available from someone, anyone else in the marketplace. We actually have a patent pending on our design, um, the dolly and, and the lid uh, out of steel and red. You can't get that anywhere else. So that's sort of what's unique about us, but it all starts with the end user and their pain point and how can we make their life easier which improves their enablement and engagement, which ultimately leads to a better patient experience if the staff is, you know, happier uh, about their work and it's less stressful. Sure. Now, I do have to ask, how did you come up with the name Diamond Storage Solutions? Yeah, another really good question. So both Jen and I are business people. We've got, you know, business in our blood, so to speak. And Jen's grandfather had a business in Akron called the Diamond Foundry, where they made metal products and so on. And as Jen got uh, older, um, her grandfather sold the business and it went away. But once she developed her taste for business, she always wished that she had the opportunity to take over that family business. So Diamond Storage Solutions is, you know, a nod or recognition to the heritage of Jen's family that started with uh, the Diamond Foundry in, in Akron. I love that. Okay. So Terry, tell me, why do you love what you do? So for both Jen and I, really at our core, we're problem solvers. And we drive like a lot of joy and, and satisfaction about understanding the needs that, you know, people have and bringing solutions to the table uh, for them and seeing, you know, their, their job improve and so on. So that that's at, at our core, that's who we are. You know, people start talking and we immediately start thinking about, oh, I have an idea for that. I know how we can solve that. So we're both that way. Um, I guess the second thing I would say is we really enjoy working with one another too. So we're happy to have the opportunity. When Jen and I had met, we were in different businesses and we would cross paths and so on, but we uh, rarely did we have the opportunity to work directly together. So we're excited to be able to work together now. And then I guess the, you know, the third thing uh, about it, what we love about it is for many years, we were in corporate America and we work for public companies, you know, with shareholders, we work for private companies. Some of the companies I worked for were very large. They were multi-billion dollar family owned businesses. And we gained a lot of experience in building businesses, which essentially led to wealth creation for whether it was the business owners or the 
the shareholders and so on. And we thought, you know, why can't we do this for ourselves and build a legacy business for us and for our family? And, you know, we'd love to see our, our children uh, have a passion for the business and, and, and take it over like Jen did. And so uh, we left corporate America and we stuck our foot, I won't say our toe in the water of entrepreneurship. We, we dove right into the water, let's say. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and, and started uh, Diamond Storage Solutions. Um, and, you know, as you know, on the side, um, you know, our passion goes beyond just the problem solving of the business. We have a lot of experience from corporate leadership in working with teams to, you know, create high performance teams and creating clarity in a business and focus in a business and helping uh, leadership teams create cascading objectives across organizations. So on the side, we also have diamond business consultants and we do some consulting work. And again, that's that's a passion of ours, leadership and, and, and leading people. So we do that on the side as well. And we have side consulting uh, jobs that we we do as we're, we're building Diamond. Um, so, yeah, that's what really makes us tick, where we uh, find joy and satisfaction. Good deal. Now, how can people find you? Well, I would say the first thing that they can do is go to the uh, Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce and look at the business directory. <laughs> 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 and and you can look us up and in there you'll find a link to our website, uh, a link to our, our LinkedIn page and our Facebook page. You can also search us on Instagram uh, as well. Of course, you can go directly to our website, which is Diamond Storage Solutions, plural, dot com. Um, and then if you actually are looking for our products. Our products are found in a few different areas. So our go-to-market strategy is really through distribution partners. So we have agreements with uh, Granger uh, that a lot of the healthcare companies, they have a healthcare division and uh, our products um, can be found through them if you talk to your Granger representative. We also uh, have an agreement with a company called CME Corp which does a lot of capital projects with healthcare providers like hospitals and so on. And uh, we're working with them and they pair us up with the hospitals. We go in and we do this innovation work and, and uh, determine the need. And sometimes we design custom products for them or they'll buy from our portfolio of products. Uh, a lot of Hospitals and um, clinics also purchase through group purchasing organizations. So we are a member of the Champs GPO, which is based out of Cleveland, their regional GPO. And um, they have, I think, 20,000 members. So any member of Champs GPO can, can search that database and find us. Um, we also did some side work and were listed with a company called Blick Art Materials for our storage solutions. Um, we're on their website. Um, we'll be in their Scholastic catalog. So all the art teachers and so on can uh, look at our products. We have a line of uh, storage tip out bins that are good for classrooms and, and home crafts and so on. And we have those products are listed on walmart.com as well. So those are the different places where you could find our products. Wow, you and Jen are absolutely amazing. And well, well thank you so much. <laughs> I love that you're part of the Wadsworth community. So yes. um, I want to thank you for joining me this morning, and which is awesome to learn more about Diamond, so Diamond Storage Solutions. And you and Jen, what a great partnership, not only great partnership, but then great marriage. So that that's a really fun thing, too. So Terry it Elliott, is. thank you so much. Thank your wife for us, and uh, we look forward to getting to know you even more. Yes, we do too. Thank you so much for your time today.